Hi there, Suetonia here. I thought I'd break down a really close fight I had between my Factional Warfare Kestrel character and a Cruel with a Dead Space Nosferatu and A-Type Rep fit. This fight was quite unique in that the person I killed was actually streaming, so after the fight I was actually able to watch the Twitch VOD and see the fight from his perspective, and I'll also break down all the mistakes that he made which enabled this kill to take place. So before we begin, let's talk about this matchup a bit. The Kruor is an incredibly powerful ship in a lot of situations. However, I think the Kestrel can win this fight. Uh, the Kruor is a ship which gets a double range bonus to webs, so it can web to 20 kilometers unheated and to 26 with a uh, Tech 2 web. Uh, this bonus isn't really that strong in the Kestrel matchup though, because uh, I want to fight him in web and scram range anyway. It's mostly a bonus which is uh, really dangerous to kiters, or if the crew is beam fit with a disruptor to keep people at range. Um, some people also use the double range bonus in Factional warf Warfare to get away with it having an afterburner. So then if a long range kiter comes in uh, with your AB, even a micro warp drive kiting fit with a web on them is a pretty close. So you can normally escape or catch even micro warp drive kiters with an afterburner fit. Uh, the second bonus on the crew is the more powerful Nosferatu and energy neutralizers, and also Nosferatu will always drain cap if it's available, despite how much cap the crew has. Normally Nosferatu's only drain cap if your cap value is lower than your target's cap value, but on the crew that's not the case. So most Tech 2 fit crewers with Pulse I think can be killed by a Kestrel. It is really still a really close fight. But if you can uh, quiet outside of Nosferatu range and you force them to use Scorch and you stay outside 7km window which is uh, inside the window is close to Nosferatu range and then you can uh, you can deny them cap so they can't normally crew was, uh like to use the like, dual rep and they don't have an injector they try to run that on the double Nos because they're basically going to be completely stealing all of your cap regeneration of your ship. And also, as I mentioned, the, the web bonus isn't super important because I'm going to fight him in scram and web range anyway. So if you can sort of get into that sweet sweet spot of 8 kilometers, you can uh, basically turn a crew into just a stronger Tormentor. Um, it does have more hit points and slightly more damage than a Tormentor after all, so again, it's still a really hard fight. But it is a fight that you can possibly win. Um, beam Tormentor, oh, sorry, beam crewers can also be a lot more difficult. Um, and if, honestly, if I knew this was a beam tormentor before I engaged, I probably wouldn't have engaged him, especially if I knew he had the dead space Nosferatu as well. But he made a lot of mistakes, which made this uh, fight possible for me to win, and it was still super, super close, as you will see. So let's take a look at my point of view first, and I'll talk about what I do in this fight and what I'm trying to do to win this fight. So to fight this crow, what I want to do is I want to burn directly away from him. If possible, I want to try and make him burn into my missiles for a long period of time. And then that way I can get some extra damage uh, into him before the fight really starts. So he starts burning after me at this point. And uh, he doesn't wet me um, for some reason. It's mostly because uh, uh, he, he made some mistakes, as I said. But he should be gain gaining on me a lot faster than this. But as you can see, um, because I'm burning away and he's burning into me, it's effectively extending my missile range quite considerably and he's burning into the missiles and I'm getting some free DPS on him before he's even damaged me or the fight has actually started. So I'm, what I'm doing here is I'm just spamming my scram and web. I want this fight to start as close, as far away from 7 kilometers as possible. That's pr pretty much the magic mark when, you, uh, when you're fighting a crew. I make a very big mistake here. So I set orbit to uh, 5 kilometers by mistake. I meant to set orbit 10 kilometers, but it's my mistake. I should have uh, kept clicking uh, in space, but he actually has a dead space Nosferatu, he has C-types rep, they have a, a bit further than 8km range on them, the range of his uh, Nosferatu is basically the same as my uh, as my scram range, so I wouldn't have been able to avoid the Nos uh, if uh, in this fight, but it was a bit too close for comfort, if he had a tech 2 Nos I probably would have uh, been in just as much danger. So you can see he's, uh, he's draining my cap and there's nothing I can do about it. I could have been heating a bit more here. Um, I was pretty conservative with heat. Um, at this point, because I know he's gaining on me, because he's neutered my web off and I can't uh, web it, I decided to just orbit 500 just to try and get as close as possible because I realized at this point he's using beams. And then he di then he dies. Um, he actually, the, that um, decision that I made at the last uh, minute, that split decision to just orbit tightly, uh, he actually got like a really... Uh, Dally got a glancing hit on me, and that's sort of 
kind of what allowed me to win the fight at the end there. So that's sort of my, what I was trying to do in that fight. And next we're going to look at his uh, footage. But I'm going to show you his footage um, without me commentating on it first. Just so you can sort of hear his reactions. You can, Because he was talking to this. He was uh, streaming. I wasn't actually watching him stream. But someone linked the stream to me because they recognised my character and said that I had killed this guy. So I went and checked it out. And it's um, it's kind of cool just watching someone else speaking and you can sort of hear their reactions to what they're doing. The uh, blueprint I have. See? It says if you make them, there's only one in Omar and it's they're trying to sell it for fight? 900 million. Huh? Oh, good God. Look what is it? You can't go by that. Look in contracts, see what they're selling that BP copy for. Yeah, link it to me. I don't know how to do that. Look, he's okay. running. And then just drop it in. Alright. I shouldn't fight this guy, man. He's in my fucking faction warfare. Oh, he fired that at me. might be the actual price, or it might be some scammer. I used to be a scammer. What'd you used to sell? I didn't use to sell, I used to do recruitment scamming. That was you, right? I used to sell love. Love? Nice. What is love? That's how I got evil in. I was, uh... Yeah, I was just doing recruitment scams. Getting people to, um... <clears throat> do like a courier contract to me. With no collateral. Oh, he's in a fight. I knew this thing didn't do as good damage as I liked. I thought you were going to say you did crossfit. I knew this thing didn't do as good damage as I liked. He's gonna die. I knew it. I knew it. I knew it. It looks that way, don't it? Oh. Yeah. Huh. What do you see on that thing, Tricky? I saw him die. <laughs> oh, there goes the oh, fucking what the hell? You fucking bastards, dude! Every fucking time, oh, man. Oh, warped in on you. It doesn't even matter. There's so many other things there. Well, price 11. Oh, he got him! Oh, no, no, he didn't. So I'd like to remind everyone that we are here to be constructive. This guy made a lot of mistakes, and any one of the simple mistakes he made would have uh, won him the fight. But we're not here to poke fun at him and we're going over this to be constructive to new people watching, not to be spiteful to the, this person and tell him how much he sucks or whatever. So just keep that in mind. Uh, we're not here to be jerks. We're here to learn. So I'm playing this at half speed just so you can see a lot more what's, what's going on this time. And cause there's a, a bit more that I want to talk about. So this guy, uh, first of all, he only has Aurora and Gleam in his crew and that's a big mistake from him and you'll see this uh, play a quite a big impact in this fight. Um, later on so it decides to orbit me um to begin with i, I think he might he might just be unsure whether or not i'm going to fight him or not because i am in his uh, militia i mean i do web him here because he's a bit too close to me and i want to pull range but he's not um really doing anything here and he could have webbed me initially from the start but um we could just chalk this down to uh him not uh really wanting to shoot someone in his militia even though he did say uh I believe early on his stream uh, they did want to fight me, but uh, so uh, he's just uh, he's orbiting me at three kilo uh, three thousand kilometers. He's not actually not actually sorry three thousand meters. He's not actually approaching me directly. He could be webbing me here and he could be turning on uh, turning on his web and he should really be uh, using heat on his micro warp drive to uh, close in on me as fast as possible. Especially if if he had the tech two fit. Um, you definitely want to try and get as close to me as possible. When you're fighting a missile ship in a, uh, a laser ship, you want to be able to use the high damage ammo. And also, he has to uh, be aware of the the margin of where my Kestrel um, can avoid his Nosferatu, but still be in scram and web range. And he needs to avoid that as much as possible. Um, he hasn't uh, used his guns yet. And again, he, sh he should have been shooting me with Aurora this whole time. And he should be heating. He doesn't actually use any heat on either of his uh, high or mid rack and it's a, a significant mistake in this fight so uh, as we uh, will see here he's not um, spamming his micro warp drive he's not heating his micro warp drive either so I'm actually able to scram him and I actually uh, coast 
I actually, I, th- I believe I actually managed to sort of like coast out of range for a little while. Um, you can see I, I reapply my scram and web, and he could have started the fight a lot closer. And uh, this has put him at a pretty uh, significant disadvantage. He's only just got the scram on me now. But as as I mentioned, he only has Gleam and uh, Aurora. He if he had uh, um, multi frequency, he would have killed me here because uh, the range that I'm at, just uh, a bit further than uh, six kilometers. Uh, I'm actually in full off of his gleam, and if you look at his damage notifications on the screen uh, right here, you can see that uh, he's not really doing much damage to me, like 121 uh, uh, double digits, um, a lot of this is like sort of low uh, triple digits as well, and you can see here that's the like really bad hit there, and he's not really doing uh, any damage to me, it's not until uh, my... And yeah, she actually gets a complete miss there, and then like another bad damage hit. So if he had multi frequency loaded, I would have died in my Kestrel in uh, against him. Another thing is he could have been heating the Nosferatos here, but my web drops off because of his uh, cap pressure. He's able to actually get into Gleam range now. He still uh, he's actually um, killing his own tracking by orbiting me at three thousand kilometers. Uh, so it's a big mistake from him. He should have really just be using keep at range. In all honesty, like he, he doesn't need to orbit me. And uh, you, you'll see, at, as I mentioned uh, during my point of view, during the end of the fight. So I mean, he he's not. Uh, he, he should have been heating his nos at this point as well, and heating the guns because if he had you know started that rep cycle on the armor rep, you know, one or two seconds earlier from the heated nos, and he would have actually been able to activate that armor rep. Uh, earlier and he would have got an armor rip cycle off and he would have won the fight. So uh, quite a few mistakes from him in this uh, in this fight but I thought this would be you know a great uh, great video for people to to uh, learn and also because it was just such a really close fight I had a uh, seven structure HP in my Kestrel. So I really hope you enjoyed this and uh, it's really cool when you can see both perspectives of a fight which is not something you often are able to do.